to my channel if you're a hood subscriber thank you for coming back and to all my new subscriber welcome to miss lebus world so today's video as you can see by the title is a get ready with me video and basically i am going out to turn up you know you know yeah so i'm basically going out to turn up and i thought why not record myself whilst getting ready so basically this is a cockrease glitter eye look with a red lip initially this video was meant to be a chit chat get ready with me video but whilst i was doing my makeup i could not just stand the fact that I was doing my makeup and I was talking. I'm not able to do that. I am not multitasking that way. By doing my makeup and talking at the same time, it makes me slow while I was doing my makeup. So I get really slow as I'm doing my makeup. And that's why I just decided to do a voiceover. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try my next video to be a chit chat get ready with me video so if you want to see how i get this look make sure you keep on watching to the end and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoy this video and also leave your comment down below let me know what you like about this video so don't forget to click the subscribe button it is free like come on guys you're not paying it's so free just make sure you click on it before you head out of this video and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys so to save some time, I've already done my eyebrows off camera. So now I'm just applying my Elegate Pro Concealer on my eyelid and I'm going to set that with my Sasha Buttercup powder. Taking my Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to apply that on my eyelid as a base for my eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use my finger to blend everything in. From my Kiko palette, I'll be taking the first shade on the first row from the left and just apply that as a transition colour. Then to define my crease a little bit, I'm taking from the last row, I'm taking the third shade from the left as well and that's just going to define my crease a little bit more. same palette I'll be taking the fifth shade from left on the last row and I'm just gonna apply this just at the bottom where I've applied my transition colors follow me to where the rivers me tell me I belong I'm taking my Elegant Pro Concealer to cut my crease and also I'm making sure I'm not taking it above my eyelid. taking the first shade from the right from the last row and I'm just gonna pat that on my eyelid so going back to my Morphe palette I'm taking the fifth shade from the left on the last row and I'm just using that to define my crease a little bit more so I've been taking my collection glitter gel liner and I'm just gonna apply this just above my eyelid and you want to make sure when you open your eyes you can still you can still see the glitter because that's the oil point of putting the glitter just above your eyelid. I adored you before I laid my eyes, I laid my eyes on you. Have a bit of a wing line. I'm going in with my NYX um, gel liner in the shade black, and I'm not doing a dramatic um, wing line because I want it to look very simple. And also, I'm going to apply my makeup magnesium and apply that on my face. So, to color correct some areas on my face, I'll be using my LA Pro corrector and I'm just going to blend that in with a beauty blender. So, for my foundation, I'll be using my NAS All Day Weightless Foundation and I'm applying this with a damp beauty blender. And, guys, this foundation has been my favorite foundation for the past one month. I don't know why, but I think it's just because of the way it looks on me and the shade is just true like it's true to my color like it's just the bomb guys you guys need to check this foundation out so it's 
to highlight the areas of my face, I'm going to be using my NAS Radiance Concealer and I'm applying this underneath my eyes, my cupid bone, the bridge of my nose and also my forehead and I'm going to blend that in with a damp beauty blender. So I have a love and hate relationship with this concealer guys. I really love it because that's what I use on my regular normal day but when I'm going for a full glam I feel like it's not thick enough so I always have to go on top of on top of it with a, another concealer so in this case I'll be going in with my Kevin O'Connor concealer in the shade SX11 so I'm applying my, my eyelashes that's because I've already applied the glue to the lashes so I don't want it to dry too much but so as you can see I'm just applying the Kevin O'Connor concealer I'm just going to use that to neaten up my eye and also I'll be applying that underneath my eyes and guys a little of this goes a long way so I would suggest you apply just a little bit and I'm just going to blend that in with a beauty blender I'll be using my Elegant Pro Concealer in that cocoa and I'm just contouring the perimeter of my face and also I'm going to contour my nose as well. So I'm going to be doing a bit of a reverse contour method today so I'm going to apply a my elegant pro concealer just above where i've applied my contour and i'll blend that in with my beauty blender and that's just to make my contour a bit more precise then i'm gonna um, set the areas where i've highlights with the sasha buttercup powder and i'm just gonna apply that to all the areas where i've highlighted on my face you be my holy one you be my precious girl. I just want to make you buy now I'm slow, yeah. Set the areas that I've cream contoured I'm just going to be going with my slick contour kit in dark And I'm just applying the contour powder Just the way I've previously used the cream contour Now I'm going to take off the SS setting powder off my face And I'm just blending it inwards Oh my gosh, I'm having fun I'm clearly having fun <laughs> So I'll also, to blend everything in I'll be going in with my mineralized um, skin finish powder And I'm just applying this all over my face Just to set everything in For my blush, I'll be taking the MAC blush powder in Ambry Rose I believe, I'll put everything in the description box So make sure you check it And also, now I'm going back with a liquid liner And I'm just applying that on my lash line for some highlight guys i'm going in with my anastasia beverly ease illuminator in pitch nectar and i'm just applying that above my cheekbones this illuminator literally gives me life like it just gives me so much life and i'm just basically applying it to the areas where i've previously highlighted and also where i want light to catch so i'm also gonna go on top of that with my Becca um, highlights in Champagne Pop and that's just gonna add some extra glow you know as you can see and I'm using a, a fan brush to apply that on my face so going back to the eyes I'm taking the dark shade that I used to define my crease previously and I'm just applying that at the bottom of my eyes so taking my Stila mascara I'll be applying this to the top and also my bottom lashes and going back to my brows I'll be taking my Becca highlight and I'm just gonna apply this on my brow bone just to bring some life back to my um to my eyebrows basically yeah so moving on to the lip i'll be taking my la color lip pencil and i'm not sure what shade this is but it should be in the description box and i'm just going to use that to line my lips and also to fill in my lip as well taking my MUA velvet liquid lipstick and I'm just gonna apply that on my lip and guys this liquid is very affordable but at the same time it's very good MUA they're really on top of their game these days and I'm just gonna take my concealer brush and I'm just gonna knit my lip also want to set your face as well so here's the finished look guys I hope you guys really enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up and also subscribe before you head out and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys